Hey, 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 guys, welcome in. I know it's already late in the afternoon, but uh, hey, better late than never to start a video, right? Look at that, we got the truck back home finally. And uh, I wanted to show you guys on what we got done. Now, the bear hanger bearing is right that black piece right there where you see. Hopefully, I can show you guys close enough. There you go. Now you can see that. That's what they call a hanger bearing. That's what got replaced. Yeah, that was all worn out. That whole shaft was moving up and down. And uh, I'll show you a little bit here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see much, but uh, yeah, this is the uh, side that we had off. Uh, they're taking the wheel off and behind there there is a wheel seal they call it and that one was leaking so uh, they had to fix that and got a grease job done and uh, changed the fuel filters and oil filters so we are good to go yeah now let's go to the backyard and it's actually look at that it's actually melting yeah nice and warm out here today at least not super cold compared to what it could be right that's right so what we're gonna do now is go to the backyard and uh, hey, voila look at that that snow is melting like crazy yeah and so uh, i figure well since it's a nice day out here today i'm going to uh, start a fire here and we're gonna be cooking a stew yeah that's right so let's see what we can uh, we can do already guys we are outside we got the cooking pot out here on the fire yeah the meat is just about done and i bet some of you are wondering what are we cooking well we're cooking a stew <laughs> for those of you that are new never seen this before well we got some beef meat in there onions green peppers red peppers yellow peppers and uh we usually use this type of uh, tomato sauce we use different type of variety of noodles yeah sometimes we use this one sometimes we use different type and we use uh, usually put a few slices of potatoes in there cut up potatoes and uh, first we cook the meat for a little while with some onions and then we put some green peppers in it so we got some seasonings in it like salt and some seasoning salt and stuff like that in there and sometimes we'll put garlic in there as well and then we'll do that cook that for a little while and then once that once that's done we'll put more water in there and we'll put some potatoes in there and let that cook for a while and then we'll add some water and then uh, once that's boiling we'll add the tomato sauce and then after that we'll uh, We'll add the uh, noodles and let them cook for a while and then it's ready to go. Yeah. Alrighty guys, we are back on the road. Yeah. And I'm just finishing yesterday's video. I uh, invited my parents to come over uh, for supper. As you guys saw, we uh, had a stew. And uh, yeah, I decided not to film it. I uh, just... I don't know. I've been kind of down on... <laughs> everything I was a little worried about my truck not being able to get fixed and all that I was worried about how much that was gonna cost me and all that stuff so uh, didn't really feel like videotaping too much there in the last couple of days so but here we are back on the road again and I figured ah, well, I'll finish the video anyways and uh, I guess by now you have seen on the previous clip where uh, my truck did get fixed today and I was very surprised that it did not cost more than what it did I suspected it was gonna cost me probably fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars and it did not it only cost me seven hundred and sixty dollars which I was very happy for I had suspected it would cost me way more than that and uh, I also wanted to show you guys something else a little bit. Now I got my camera here on a tripod, so we'll try and show you. Well, I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but uh, 
we did switch our seats around now here is the uh, old seat I don't know how good that's gonna be visible let me see if I can turn on some lights see this is all broken here and this is all like you see that it's all broken it's not supposed to be like that you know this too you know this is the uh, you see this is all loose you know anyways that is my uh, used to be driver's seat now it's in the passenger seat so we don't really need that too much anymore but it's much more comfortable in that driver's seat now than it was on the uh, other driver's seat before so uh, only downside of it is the uh, disassembled uh, all the armrest and uh, I'm no longer able to use the armrest on it but uh, that's okay it's just temporarily for me anyways uh, I could probably afford to get me a new seat if I really wanted to but uh, I figured the passenger seat is still in good condition and I've spent so much money this year already on my truck it's unbelievable I mean I've spent thousands of dollars on my truck this year already repairing it so I figured I'll wait till next year tax season is almost over because I run my business till somewhere around the middle of January end of January and then a new tax season starts for me so what I want to do is I want to wait till next tax season starts or after it started anyways and then I want to get new uh, seats put in and I also want to get new tires drive tires and uh, so that way I have some write-offs for next year as well you know because I don't want to have all my write-offs this year and then have none next year because then I'm gonna be paying a lot of taxes next year and uh, I don't want to really do that I do want to pay my fair share of taxes because you know the government needs money to run the you know to run everything too to uh, maintain the highways and rest areas and do their you know regular stuff pay the people that don't work I guess <laughs> but all that stuff they also you know we have free health care so I do uh, want to pay my share of taxes but I don't want to pay more than is necessary right so uh, if I have too much write-off this year and not enough next year well then I'll end up paying a lot of taxes next year which I could have avoided right so instead of doing that I want to just wait till next year and get some stuff done next year but anyways uh, enough of that I really hope that you guys will enjoy today's vlog I did uh, not film too much but uh, hopefully in the future we'll improve that I know lately on my home time videos have been crappy they really haven't been that good but uh, hopefully soon we can start start recording more again I know uh, we've been working kind of hard lately because we've been well I don't know if you guys remember me uh, talking about it there a little while ago probably a month and a half ago or so that I'm gonna be working a little extra hard now to try and pay some debt and so that all that is frustrating me a little bit because they are not really giving me long trips that I would really hope for because uh, I can keep telling them that I want a long trip and they just keep sending me Wisconsin Illinois now I got a trip to Indiana and those are not really super long trips you know like it's only a thousand I don't know what was it a thousand and fifty miles or something like that to Indiana right now and last week I only went up to uh, not even Chicago you know and well I ended up going to Wisconsin and then come back to Chicago and all that and then go home you know but they just keep sending me straight home from Chicago even if they were to send me to Chicago and then go to Toronto and then go home that at least would be decent miles but they just keep sending me back and it's frustrating me like crazy but anyways not in my control I suppose but uh, oh well I guess uh, we'll uh, see what happens on this trip but anyways that's about all I got we'll uh, be sure to be back tomorrow 
we release our videos at 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. I know not everybody's going to be up at that time, but some of you might be. But uh, their videos are there, you know, all day long. So it doesn't really matter what time you watch it, as long as you watch it sometime throughout the day. It's all that matters. And if you did, we want to thank you for watching my video. And uh, hey, stick around for tomorrow, because then we will be back on the road. So have a good one, everybody. behind me that day is gonna come